we're going to be talking about Fortnite and specifically how to get easier V-Bucks. If you clicked on this video, that's what you're here for. So, we're going to jump right into it. But, before we start, I want to tell you guys first and foremost that this is about Fortnite's counterpart game mode, Save the World. Now, I urge you to finish the rest of the video, but if you're not, if you don't want to, then that's cool too. But if you stay to the end of the video, you'll definitely hear a lot of things that point towards you actually applying in this game mode based on the fact that it is a very good way to gain without you spending a ton of money. Now, first and foremost, before we get into anything else, the set Fortnite Save the World is going to be on sale as of July 7th. So, that's, if that's a little bit more enticing for the rest of it, then there you go. Now, Fortnite Save the World is the better parts of an RPG. It's power defense and support. Uh, it's on more, more like horde mode because it's not necessarily levels. It's more like a, uh, you know, they all attack you at once and then you clear them out and you move on to the next round. But you don't. It's, it's less like zombie survival than you would think. But anyways, if you think more tower defense type of things like that. So it also gives you the resource building, the item crafting, and the ability to trade items with other players along with the fact that it's got a very good build your own base mechanic. Now those are all the good parts about Save the World. Now the bad parts are that the missions are a little drawn out. Uh, there is a very big sense of repetitiveness and there are it's it's there's a lot of scams inside of the game and that's a big problem for newer players because they're trying to get weapons but you know they keep getting scammed so it's not very it's not very lucrative for a lot of players but what is fun is the fact that when you are playing this game there are a absolute shit ton of ways for you to gain bucks there you get some from doing quests you get some from um, you get some from uh, the daily quest so you have your regular main quest then you have your event quest which pretty much the same time that Fortnite does major updates like whether they add weapons or stuff almost oh, I'd say a good 70% of the time if they're may if they're adding something to battle royale they're also adding something to save the world so there's these events that go on right now. Challenge the Horde is the event. And with this event, you're allowed to play the game and experience it with uh, the ability of gaining more V-Bucks. Like, so you guys get the main quest that give you V-Bucks every couple of levels. They give you about 100 V-Bucks every couple of levels. Then you get the event Road Trip, which gives you V-Bucks every couple of levels. You end up doing daily quests, which give you 50 V-Bucks per level. And then you have your side challenges, like this one, uh, Toxic Treasures, where if you find the chests that have the mimics inside of them, you get to have more V-Bucks. Also, if you help other players with their Storm Shield defenses, which is defending, defending their home base, you get more V-Bucks. So you guys can see off of just that alone, there are tons of V-Bucks, let alone the collection book, which is a section in this game where the more stuff that you collect throughout it, uh, throughout the playing the game, you get more uh, you get rewards um, and based upon that reward system you you get a certain amount of v bucks i i think one time so far i've ga i've gotten um like 500 v bucks at one time just off of filling up my collection book then then you get certain like every week like this week at the end of this week i was able to gain 150 v bucks the end of next week i gain 300 V bucks. So you guys can see, just in that alone, there are absolutely ridiculous amounts of V bucks waiting to be acquired based on the fact that all you have to do is put in a little bit. Minimal effort will still get you a reasonable amount of V bucks. So I highly urge you guys, even though I said the pros and the cons, I hope you guys appreciate that. But I definitely think that you guys should pick up Save the World while it's on sale because I don't think that. 
with this situation, you guys heard me talk about all the V-Bucks that you can get at a possible amount of time depending on the work you put in. Now, you have to understand that uh, Fortnite is a free game that makes most of its money off of Battle Royale and not Save the World. So if they were to give Save the World away for free, then... Which they said they were going to do this summer anyways, but I really don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to hold back on that. I also don't think they would have it on sale and then, like, basically slap those people in the face that just bought it on sale. But, uh, I definitely think that they're not going to, they're, they're not in any rush to actually release this book to the public based on the fact that there's a lot of people grinding. Now, imagine the amount of V-Bucks that I just said, but imagine at least 50,000 people doing it. You have to imagine how much money they'd lose. Anyways, this is the way that I get easy V-Bucks, guys. Like I said, most of my lock on Battle Royale is made up from me playing uh, Save the World a lot and gaining V-Bucks quite often. And even if you guys only wanted it to make sure you guys didn't have to spend $10 on the next season Battle Pass, this is all just trying to save money in the long run. It's a little bit more time consuming, but it's just as fun in my opinion at certain points in times. Like I said, it does get a little bit grindy and repetitive, and that's the times where I go I usually go back and play something else or I play, you know, Battle Royale. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like down below. If you guys are going ahead and co gonna cop this on January 17th, or sorry, my bad, July 17th then make sure you guys leave in the comment section below if you guys want anybody to play with i'll leave my gamer tag and the description below and i'll help you guys grind out some of your missions thank you guys so much and i hope also that anybody that's watching this is having a lot of fun in season five peace out guys